100 plus musical references covering 50 tracks across 20 games. Of course, the series main theme is the most referenced, the first time 33 seconds in, right after the Universal and Illumination logos, for the Nintendo logo. And then 14 more times at these points in the movie. Oh, we're the Mario Brothers in Plummins again. We're the Brothers. Uh. start at that timestamp with this. The credits count. There's a mid credit scene, a post credits one, and any way you want to stay for the music, it's really part of the experience here. And that's how the credits end. I skipped a couple references because, listen, the movie doesn't have much of a plot, it's more about the moments and many of those moments are musical. So I'm keeping these three for a spoiler section at the end. Another track that's referenced a lot is the Course Clear music, first heard for the Nintendo logo and then... Another classic, Underground. This time I skipped one because uh, here's an excerpt from a 2004 video by Martin Leong. That video has been seen 50 million times so far. In the movie there's a point where underground is played on the piano in the exact same way with the coins, the power up sound and the one up. Speaking of which, I am counting the one up music, it's a fun reference to catch. Other minor references, there's this DK jingle early on, and later Donkey Kong goes down to his old intro music. That I knew was familiar. Luigi's ringtone is the GameCube jingle. At some point Kid Icarus is being played and we can hear Under Attack and Just Died. There's the new Super Mario Bros. Pop. Bowser's laugh from Mario 64 is melodic, right? Nah, I'm not counting it. When the timer goes under 100... A very quick underwater theme. Luckily, this one is much better heard in the credits. Great tracks are only heard in the credits. Sadly, that was the only track from Mario 2, all two seconds of it. At least the original Super Mario game has pretty much its whole soundtrack covered, as there's also the invincibility theme. Wait, that's too far back. Castle music. The end 
ending theme. And player down heard during the credits. But not really, it's on the OST release, but that little bit was cut for the movie. And I'm sad to say, it's not the only cut content. Like what you're hearing, this blend of Mario's theme from the games and uh, his new original theme for the movie, this was meant to play during his obstacle course training. But it was replaced by holding out for a hero. Which is a great song, but has no place here. My sister thinks it's used ironically. But what's driving me bananas? Well, listen to the intro of Donkey Kong Country. Here's the track, Driving Me Bananas, a superb introduction to the Kong Village. It's so good! But it doesn't count! In the movie, it's replaced by Take On Me, which leaves Donkey Kong Country with few reps. I have to say though, the Kong's movie music is very evocative of how the DKC games sound, especially the temple tracks in the original and Returns. Composer Brian Tyler similarly gave original music to Bowser, which captures the feeling of many of his great themes from the games, but it's original. Bowser and his army do use the airship theme though. Actually, there's a lot of tracks from Mario 3. All about that bass. This one's reused for minigames throughout the series, so you might know it under a different name. Same for this one, and much reused throughout the series, often confused with Fever from Dr. Mario. to Mario World for a while there. What else from that game? Moving to Mario 64, Inside the Castle Walls.
a little bit of the main theme. New Super Mario Brothers! Next two, I'm not sure how to credit. They were first heard in Mario Galaxy? But this extension is exclusive to Mario 3D World. And that's the only track I could hear from that game, despite Cat Mario making an appearance. Let's close the book on main series games with Mario Odyssey. Now the spin-offs! Now, in that same sequence, there's this uh, ominous piano. And I was racking my brain looking for more Luigi's Mansion. But the closest was Deep Dark Galaxy. And I'm not sure it's an intentional reference. Finally, we have some subtle Mario Kart in there. Before moving to the spoiler section, uh, I might have some blind spots. Like, early in the movie, there's Spike from Wrecking Crew, so I went through the whole soundtrack of that game, and it's Japan-only sequel, but to no avail. There's when Mario reaches the castle grounds, which feels Mario Galaxy. But the closest... But earlier, similar notes play in a similar context. Speaking of Galaxy, when we meet the creepy Luma, I don't recognize anything. Uh, same for Mario vs Donkey Kong, and vs Bowser, and uh, the card battle, and Underwater, and no Rocket Barrel track from Returns. I fear I'm missing something with these. As for these five notes... They're close to this. But not the same. However, the notes play seconds before Luigi is imprisoned in a tower. So it has to count as a reference. Which means I count uh, their later appearance in a similar context. And in a different context. the credits. But I draw the line here. It's just four notes, uh, the rhythm's off, it's a stretch. Speaking of which, here are more stretches, just for fun. During the princess's backstory... You could imagine the Mario RPG star piece music. These three notes. Almost the Mario 3 Fortress. This isn't the airship music. This is close to a couple underwater themes. But was cut from the movie anyway. This thing. 
is reminiscent of one from Mario 3D Land. And this is pretty close to Paper Mario Origami King. Yeah, I hear it. Still, I'm not really counting those. So moving on to the spoilers, uh, and to be clear, they're spoilers because those are the musical references that made my movie experience better for hearing them blind. So they're also my top 10. Number 10, we knew we were getting some Odyssey, but this? Number 9 is just funny, uh, they used my favorite Bowser music, not on Bowser, but on Mario dreading a pipe maze. Number 8 is another Bowser track, this time from the two-year-old Bowser's Fury, and it's a direct rip because how would you improve on that? Number 7, when the Kongs prepare their vehicles, you're just blasted with this. Number 6, Mario returns to the Mushroom Kingdom to a bombastic rendition of the series' main theme. And it just keeps going. Number five caught me completely by surprise. Donkey Kong enters to the DK rap. But in the credits, it's only attributed to Donkey Kong 64, which is the right game, but uh, no mention of George Andreas and Grand Kirk Hope, who created it. It's a general issue with this movie. Of course, main series composer Koji Kondo is properly credited, but there are a lot of names missing from the credits. Number four, after Luigi proves his courage, Mario asks for a bit more. Number three, the brothers grab the star and... the track in full but it ends with the way too epic number two finally number one we all knew rainbow road was in the movie and i was guardedly expecting the classic theme but what i got was the classic theme Spring 15 seconds of that on me, immediate feels. So, did I get all the references? I know I did not, as Brian Tyler says there are at least 130. Yeah, me, I am done for now, for a while really. Feel free to help in the comments. And then you can check those videos if you like. <laughs>